Here we go on CT Sports now. Who we got? We got the Staples baseball team champs once again. Class double L. Fellas, congratulations. Big smiles as well you should have. Congratulations and thank you for coming in. You know, we've had uh, champions, back-to-back -back champions, all three of our teams tonight. Have well, been... they, 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 right, was oh, it? no, you're yeah. not back-to-back. -back. Two out of three. Two, two out of three. three. That's right. Two, two of the last good. three years. It just seems like Jack it. McFarland here next to me, next to him. Uh, Chad Knight, Drew Rogers, Harry Azadian, uh, part of the uh, the Staples records that uh, – that knocked off Southington, he shut out a, uh, a 3 nothing victory at Palmer Field on Saturday. Although it could have easily been 4 nothing, but who's counting that last <laughs> run? <laughs> was it 4? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was close. It was close. It was, it was close. Yeah. It was close. Close, close play at the plate. Oh. Anyway, um, guys, this, was this one, and, 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 and you guys have been involved in other ones, was this one as hard to get to as, as you can remember? I mean, yeah, I certainly think so. We had to play some great teams. We started off with a great Norwalk team, who was probably one of the hottest FCI teams at the end of the season. Then we went to a great little lacrosse team where we faced a great pitcher. And then after that, we faced some great teams. It was uh, Rumble, who was really hot. We gave us a run for our money. We were losing by four in the sixth inning. And then we played Cheshire, who was the number one ranked team in the state. They had won 25 straight, uh, followed by a Southington team. So, you know, it was a, it was a tough five games, but certainly paid off. You, you must have an extensive scouting report because he, he just rattled that off yeah. in coach speak. Yeah. Um, you know, the semis were, all the legends were there, you know, Cheshire, Southington, Amity, and, and Staples. So there, there was no easy road. There was no easy bracket. And, you know, the credit to these guys, they, you know, they went right through it. So. And, 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 you know, you talked, Chad, you talked about Norwalk. Um, Norwalk, as you mentioned, was super hot. Norwalk was given all sorts of team spits. But there weren't any, like, there wasn't anything that you could look at when you guys started the tournament and said, this one's going to be easy, right? Norwalk had to beat Greenwich in the qualifying game. But you guys, like, there was a, a game to be played every step along the way. I think they're all tough. They're all tough, but um, it was, they were actually very stressful, too. But um, they're, they're a lot of fun, too. So it was very tough. Yeah, is it is it more fun to play a, a, a real challenging team time and time as opposed to getting a bit of a break? Yeah, I, I definitely think it's more fun. You know, we sort of look forward to the big games against teams like Cheshire, who's, you know, won 25 games in a row. We sort of look forward to that challenge. And I think we rose to the occasion a little bit, and that's a good team, too. Look, you got you to see this desk here because, hey, we've got the FCI championship trophy. We have the state championship trophy. And if you look real closely at the fellas here, you can see they're bling on their fingers. This is from championships past with more rings, uh, more rings on their way in. You guys started the season, I think, as I remember, and you guys will remember better. Than, were you guys ranked number one in the state to start the season? No, uh, prep was. Oh, prep yeah. was number one. We were one. in the top five. All okay, year, in the top so. five. But, yeah. but then there, were, there was a lot of movement this year. It wasn't yeah. like the same teams all – Part of that is because the FCAC was so tough to that play oh, a lot yeah, of teams, was, and Ludlow put together a terrific season. You beat Ludlow in the uh, in the FCAC championship game, but did you see the level come up to you guys a bit this year? Coming? Yeah, I mean, I, I call the FCAC the shark tank. I mean, it, the, the, the league was unbelievable. We had four kids drafted. The, the league was very tough, and it actually prepared us for, you know, the Cheshires and the Southingtons. I mean, there, there were a lot of great teams this year and some unbelievable players. And if you guys uh, have, a, have a moment, Part of this in this season where you went, aha, we we can do this, or was it just such a grind that you just figured if if we play well, we got I a mean, chance? I, ironically enough, I think our aha mo aha moments when we lost fourteen nothing to Ludlow in the regular season. Um, one of our our center fielder who probably has the most energy of anyone in the you know in the class double L. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and out of all the teams in the state, said that Staples is about to go on the best eleven game stretch of all time, and well, I mean. He called it back then, and you know that was really our turning point in the season. And um, almost every game from then on was about an elimination game. And uh, you know, credit to the entire team and these two guys sitting next to me. I mean, we just took care of business. That was that was one of those games yeah. where a lot of people not not necessarily said, um, "Wow, what, what's up with Staples?" but said, "Wow, this Ludlow team may be for real, right?" Because people thought Ludlow was going to be all right, but had no idea they were going to be as good as they were, and they turned out to be really good. They beat you guys like that, but it's interesting to me that that was the moment where you guys said, "Okay, now we got to." Now we got to turn it on because coming off a championship from the year before, um, not, not the previous year, but the year before that, it's easy to get a little cocky, right? Yeah, well, that was definitely a great team, and I think they proved it that day. But uh, that really brought us together as a team, uh, like Chad kind of mentioned before, and uh, it made us come together. You know, uh, get back to the basics, and you know, come come out come out on a good stretch after that game. Harry, do you remember? Was there a certain feeling? Was there a, a, a silence? Was there a gloom? At that, after that, the fourteen nothing loss. Or? Um, yeah, I think the bus ride home was um, a lot quieter than it usually is. Um, 
But I think that's what make that's what made our FCAC um, championship game a lot more special. Just you know, beating them after they uh, they got us pretty bad. But they are they were a great team and um, they had they had some guys that that could play definitely. Coach, you talk about some of the monsters in uh, the double L uh, class, and, and Staples has been among them. What are you going to look at what you're losing here? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to bring this up. You know, celebrate the championship, but I hear you. you know, we got we have some great young players. These guys will tell you we have uh, the triplets. I call them in the outfield, all coming back. Uh, Nico Petro and Zobel, probably the best outfield in Connecticut. We have um, Alexander Deutsch was six and zero on the mound, a left-handed sophomore. A sophomore pitcher, yeah, yes. yeah. And we have Justin Lessing. I, I, we have some people that we're hiding down there, so we'll be pretty competitive next year. We're excited about it, but we want to enjoy this year right for right now. I, I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here looking at these guys and having watched them play over the last several years, and yeah. uh, with some of you guys even even before that, <laughs> oh, going back to Little League. Yeah, right? but, long, long time. It's uh, you know you got you got some a lot what, of talent at Staples. And, yeah. and besides the talent, success, what are the quirks of this club? What makes it this team? What makes these guys your buddies? Well, I'll say one thing. We have a, we have a, a manager. His name is Dylan Curran. He brings the whole team together. I don't know if you guys saw. He threw out the first pitch of one of the games. He's yeah. just a great kid. And the way these guys treat him and the, the energy that he brings our team, you know, I, I, in my mind, we're not winning state championships without Dylan around in 2017 and 19. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, if you wow. go to a Staples game, you will hear him. Yes. <laughs> you will definitely hear him. He's, he's the, loudest, the loudest chatter from the dugout. Listen, you guys had a tremendous season. We congratulate you on that, and uh, best of luck moving forward. A lot of exciting things coming your way and more exciting players coming your way, Coach. And it must, it must have made you proud to see your daughter in here in the second Oh, before, so right? proud. <laughs> win gold and, you know, Massick's a legacy program, and, you know, we're trying to, you know, just, you know keep the standard like, like Massick. All right, well, congratulations, guys.